Hey, what's up, bros? NZG here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a good one. If you bros like GTA 5 online videos and Red Dead online videos, and um, you like those glitches as well, so those money glitches, and you haven't subscribed yet, but then definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications because I will be trying to upload more regularly lately. So yeah, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, well then definitely go ahead and just give it a hit and then hit that notifications too so you don't miss any content. Um, enjoy this gift card a friend video, the GTA 5 online. Hey what's up bros, NZG here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video and this GTA 5 online video I will be showing you bros how to get glitched out to receive a car from your friend. So what you want to do is come down here to your arena and you just want to drive a car out of your arena, out of the workshop or any level of the arena, just drive a car out of the arena. Well, actually, you probably drive it out of the workshop, just the top garage. Once you've done that, what you want to do is focus on that end bin right there that the arrow was just on. Join your friend. When you get this alert, deny it. So press no. What you've done there is prime the alert. What you want to do now is join them again. So you, you make sure you're getting the alert quick. Now drive towards the entrance, double tap, and join your friend and spam X. So what should happen here is you're double tapping the PS button and joining your friend basically as soon as your vehicle is lined up with that end dumpster that's closest to the road. So don't worry, we're going to go through it again because I did fail that time and I did explain it kind of shit in the video. And as you see, my car's just parked here. So hold your interaction menu and hop back in. And that's just so you don't get sucked into the garage door there. Come back here. Double tap your PS button and prime your friend's alert again. So join him and then deny it. Drive forward. We're going to double tap now and join our friend and spam X as fast as we can. And what should happen is you bros um, should be double tapping your PS button right there when you're driving forward. And then you're spamming X to accept the workshop level alert before your friend's alert comes up. Okay. And you should be um, sort of seeing yourself glitch under the map. And then after that, you're spawning your friend's job. What you want to do here is just back out once it lets you back out. So once your bros do back out of the job, you should be standing here just sort of outside the arena. And you will have no minimap if you are like frozen or frozen under the map or whatever here, just go ahead and join your friend in the job again and then leave the job again and that should fix it. But you should be be standing here with no minimap. So from here, register as your CEO or whatever and fly up to the give car to friends spot uh, where we do the give car to friends or you can take your mark tool presser up there as well. Also, um, you can tell your friend that he can go ahead and quit out of the job now I uh, just want to let you bros know that we're in a friend's session too, so our friend should spawn just in this session. And once he does, tell him to come to this spot too. It's this little spot here with this pink building, and this is where we do the give card of friends. Once we get to this spot, you're going to come and stare at this pink wall, and you're going to request your MOC. Make sure your friend is also doing the same thing. He's just facing this way, because if we're both facing this way and we request the MOC, What's going to happen is I'm going to bring up the map and show you here just for a second where we are. So we're right here. What's going to happen if we stand here and request our MOC is it should spawn right behind us. So just like that, our MOC is spawned behind us. I would probably suggest not to park your helicopter like in a stupid spot like I did. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and get on with the video anyway. So once you get in your MOC, I think you can just leave it right here if you want like it's pretty good parked where it spawns but you bros can turn it around just like I did but after that you want to get your friend to hop in the passenger seat of your car and bring up the pause menu so he's going to press options and then we're just going to go up to the back here 
in our car that's in the back of our MOC and we're going to hit the right D-pad. Make sure this car is a free car, a free LG RH8, one that you don't care about losing. Once we've done that, hit the right D-pad and our friend got kicked out. We want to get him to stand next to the thing here so we can enter alone. But before we go in, we're going to bring up the alert to go to story mode and just cancel it. Now we're going to enter alone. One, down on your D-pad, up on stick and let go and then cancel that alert. So once you've done that, you should be falling through the map and then you'll spawn on the road here, invisible. So from here, you want to run over to your friend's car and just hop in the car and you should spawn in the back of your MOC in your friend's car. From here, you have done the give car to friends glitch in GTA 5 online and you now have the same copy as your friend's car. You don't really need to do anything here to save it. Uh, do not walk out. Um... I just have a little bit of trouble sometimes walking out. Just probably drive the car out. And then once you drive the car out, um, just go ahead and request up another RH8 because you both can actually do this like more than once. So if you want to get more than one car off your friend, you're still glitched out. So all you have to do is just hop out of the car here and return this car to storage. And once you bros do return this car to storage, so how you would do that is you would just go to vehicles in your interaction menu and then return personal vehicle to storage. And then once this is back in the MOC, you would just call up another free RH8 from a different garage. And then basically you would just do the glitch again. And then this car would transfer to where that RH8 came from. So I'm NZG. I'll catch you bros in the next one. Bye-bye.